welcome to the Miami Heat Zone podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. We're pushing to 5,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button and thank you for all the support. So Palil Larson on Khalil Ware's ceiling. You can't really put a ceiling on him. The incredible athleticism, length, the sky is the limit, honestly. Him being put in Heat culture is going to develop him a lot. And I think that's what people are not realizing. I think that Khalil Ware is the best big man coming out of this draft. And the fact that he fell to the Miami Heat where, you know, we do a great job just literally finding diamonds in the rough. And the fact that we have the best big man in the draft, he's a supreme talent in terms of the athleticism, the shot blocking, the rebounding, the dunks. That's what the Miami Heat have needed for the longest time. We need a switchable, movable, versatile big that can definitely help Bam in a bio. Because when Bam goes to the bench, the whole Miami Heat roster, the whole Miami Heat organization goes to the dumps. You know, while Bam and Abaya was on the bench, that roster cannot compete in terms of blocking shots and rebounding, especially on the defensive end. So we need a guy that can come in like Khalil Ware. But to be honest, we also have to temper our expectations. We're going to have to give him time to not only put on size, to not only put on the muscle, but for him to get acclimated to the speed, the pace of the NBA. I'm not saying he's going to be able to start next to Bam game one, but maybe, maybe halfway through the season or closer to the end of the season, who knows? We'll probably see them together for spot minutes. But let me know what you guys think about Khalil Ware. What is his ceiling? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 5,000 subscribers.